Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to another video if you are a subscriber and welcome if you are new. In today's video we will be talking all about my locks. We are 15 months locked so this is my 15 month lock update and let's just hop straight into it. So we are 15 months locked and it's really weird to say that whole double digits thing. If you've watched my last update which was my one year I, I said in that video how I was feeling all a bit weird and shaky because I had to literally start thinking about my hair in terms of my lock journey in now one year and so and so months and now I'm one year three months and that's just really weird to me and not in a bad way it's just again I never thought I'd get here it's a little bit surreal naturally if you know me kind of offline I'm a really impatient person naturally I just want things to be done really quickly and it might be because I live in a city and I'm so used to things just being done really really quickly and that's just all I've ever known so starting my lock journey as well I just thought that my hair would do the same thing I know I know I should know better because I actually know the science of hair but I'll be real <laughs> I was just impatient but I'm sure a lot of people can relate you start your lock journey and you think you are gonna wake up the next day and have locks and then you slowly realize that it's a process it's just not gonna happen overnight and that's what it was like for me another thing I've done in the past three months is try new hairstyles so before in the previous year kind of in my starter lock phase I didn't do a lot of hairstyles partly because the size of my locks were changing really quickly and I never really had a go-to hairstyle so unless I've pushed it back like I've done here or clipped it down or whatever I've done just without tying it up that was kind of my hairstyle I did once try some barrel twists but those were when I was like four months locked and that wasn't even my true potential of my hair right now and it's a lot thicker as you can probably see and it's just a different vibe altogether so for me when I was trying all those different styles when I was in starter phase obsessing over the hairstyles that I can't do anymore I'm now doing the hairstyles that I know would work so hopefully by the time this video is live the perm rod set video should have gone up now that hairstyle is probably the best hairstyle I've ever done in my whole entire lock journey and I haven't even got to the point where I can do other styles yet but honestly curling locks and curled locks now I was crushing over people online who would be able to do that in their lock journey and I used to think to myself I can't wait until I can do that you know I was so excited for that day and then that day finally came and we did it <laughs> now I did that hairstyle with no retwist and I just want to explain why I did that because I felt like if I did a retwist and then I did the perm rod set and then I didn't like it now I have to stick with it that was not running with me and that anxiety was pushing me to say do you know what safe bet is to actually just do this without a retwist see how it goes now I know if I did it with a retwist I would like it and in fact I love it and I really love it when the curls drop I have honestly so much hair envy on my own hair when the curls drop I feel like it just oh, it flatters me so much like it's just such a vibe I'm not even gonna front it's literally sensational so there's that next is length length is a big thing for me at the moment I feel like my locks are going through a really interesting growth spurt like at the moment they ha are really growing and they're growing out of that like bob phase now and they're trying to like slowly touch my shoulders but baby baby when my babies touch my shoulders confidently not like right now because right now we're not there yet but when my babies get to pass my shoulder and we're talking real shoulder length prepare to be sick of me prepare to be sick of me because i'm never going to let my foot off the gas <laughs> I'm never gonna let my foot off the gas and I was also saying to someone the other day when it reaches summer and I'm getting closer and closer to that two-year mark I'm never gonna let my foot off the gas with my hair you are gonna see my hair and you are gonna know that that's my hair do you know what I mean you're gonna know 
you're gonna know. So another thing that I have learned now that I am 15 months locked is I just know what products work for me. I'm not doing that thing that I was doing when I was like month two, month three, but I was constantly trying to find products to use. I just now know what works for my hair. I now know what oils work for my hair. I now know what to use to spray my hair. I now know how often to wash my hair. I now know the best time to retwist and what products to use to retwist. And it's just, we're in a really good groove and I'm not looking to change that up anytime soon. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like when you find products that work for you there is no reason to change it like if it's not broke why are you trying to fix it it's all good like just keep going on that journey I think the thing for me now that I have found really good products I want to make sure that my routine is consistent so when I'm not feeling good it reflects in my routine like I'm not going to do my hair very often I'm not going to oil my scalp or I'm not going to wash when I wanted to wash or I'm not going to moisturize whenever I needed to moisturize retwisting is optional so it doesn't really matter when I retwist it's just whenever I feel like it but doing all those all those other things when I'm not happy it's not happening and that for me is such a sad thing to say because you know you should be consistent in that because it's an element of like self-care you know self-care self-love all of that but I get so obsessed with my life and things like going on in my life that I forget my hair and my hair is my life like it's how I express myself but sometimes when I'm feeling down when I'm not feeling great about myself I'm just not looking after myself and that includes my hair so I need to get better at just incorporating hair care practices into my hair care routine and my day-to-day -day routine is something that I don't really do and I want to make sure I do it. So that was the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is hopefully a short and sweet video and I will probably do another update in maybe the next three months or so, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Whenever I'm feeling like I'm ready to kind of create an update and something has changed, and I'll film one and I'll keep coming with the tutorials. I think now I'm really confident with my hair and I understand how my hair works. So maybe I'll be trying new hairstyles more so than doing updates. I don't know we'll see we're still trying to figure it out you know it's an interesting world that I'm in right now with my hair I want to create content and you know style my hair in so many different ways but I also don't want to over manipulate my hair so we'll figure it out we'll get there but that is the truth and that's the reality. So until then, I will catch you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Peace.